So, academics confronted WAC 100 about his artist Blueface's antics with Krishan Rock. Y'all already know the deal. The beatings, the assaults, the fights, Krishan Rock's dad getting knocked out on camera, all type of fuckery. And it's becoming clear to me that Blueface won't listen to WAC 100, and it's coming out of the horse's mouth himself. WAC is on the phone with Act basically telling him, like, yo, this nigga just won't listen to me. Let's listen. So, WAC and Blueface have lost shitloads of money due to the confrontations between Krishan Rock and Blueface. You know, we didn't lost a lot of money, Act. I came front. We lost, we didn't lose a lot of money. Cancellation. Hey, hey. And according to Wack, and you know, sometimes I don't really believe Wack and Game. I call her, I, I, I hate to call Wack a liar. I don't believe anything Game says, but I think Wack tends to tell, he tends to tell a lot of bedtime stories. But I believe Wack when he was on the phone with academics and said that Blueface's behavior cost them two to three million dollars. Situational, because. I started to even question. I'm like, maybe Wack not creating enough opportunities for him to get money that he's looking at this. Act, act, act. That situation has killed two, three million in the last 75, 80 days. I'm going to show you the contract. Wack also goes on to claim that his longtime friend and artist, The Game, told him to try and separate Krishan Rock and Blueface before shit got out of hand and became permanent. Now, it's becoming incredibly clear to me that Blueface just will not listen to WAC 100. And it's sad because this is the second artist that WAC has been able to come across. You know, Blueface. How many managers come across a good, uh, you know, more than one good artist? You know, WAC had the game, which, you know, the game wasn't horrible. I mean, he didn't have a, a long-lasting, you know, uh, hard-hitting career, but it's still game. Like, it's, it's still game. He had Blueface, and unfortunately, that didn't last long. You know, Blueface has completely abandoned his musical career for this Krishan Rock shit. And here's the truth. The money in this whole, like, reality TV show shit, it doesn't even come close to the money in music. There's an abundance of money in music. And Blueface is extremely lucky and blessed in the, to be in the position that he's in right now. He's a famous rapper. Uh, any music he puts out automatically has a, uh, a a power behind it that other artists don't have. People already know who Blueface is. If he puts out music and it happens to be good, it will blow up. It will catch steam. But unfortunately, he's not using the momentum he's built for himself. He's not using any of that. And instead, he's fighting with Krishan Rock, ruining any sort of brand deals he could get in the future. I mean, outside of Krishan Rock, Blueface doesn't get involved in any trouble. Blueface is a pretty well-behaved guy outside of the Krishan Rock issues. No shootings, no robbings, as far as I know of. Pretty well-behaved dude. Stays out the way. If it weren't for this Krishan Rock situation and Blueface was genuinely focused on the music, he could probably have multiple brand deals. He could be doing advertisements for companies. If he got rid of the face tats, he could call it a day. But instead, here we are. We see what we see right now. He's destroying everything. Two to three million dollar deals. Wack 100 is waking up in the morning, opening up his email and seeing that they've lost two to three million dollar deals. This is the kind of money that can set up Wack and Blueface for the next five to ten years. And Blueface is fucking it up. I don't really know how else to put it. And, you know, clout is one of the worst things to ever happen to everybody. I think that people have come to the point where they put clout above money. And fame is great. Fame is amazing. Don't have a problem with it. I hunger for fame. I thirst for fame. Pause. But you got to pick the right kind of fame. And there's no better fame than musician fame. See, this right here, this YouTube shit, it's 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 like it's like a, it's like playing with a bomb. Every single time you attempt this shit, you're playing with a bomb. With rap, it's perfect. Just put out music people love. Shut the fuck up. Don't talk about politics. And don't talk about gender, religion, politics, race, and you can call it a day. People like me who play with these topics every day and try to find the right wire and connect it to the other wire and not blow the fuck up, not so fun. Blueface is in the perfect position, and yet he keeps fucking up the back. It couldn't get any easier than this, and he's fucking it up. And I feel for Wack. I feel for Wack because Wack is trying to give this guy room. And bro, most people, if you fuck up two to three million for them, they're done playing the game. They're, they're done playing games with you. Oh, you want to fuck up two to three mil for the both of us? Nigga, come here and let me explain to you what the fuck you're doing wrong. I don't know. 
I don't know what I don't know what makes Blueface think that the fame and the publicity from this like reality TV show bullshit is worth it, but it's not. Like I said before, the fame that you want needs to be good fame, and there's no better fame than musician fame. Everybody loves you. Everybody loves you. You don't have to worry about political enemies and internet enemies. Everybody, for the most part, likes you. He has the perfect route to fame, and he's throwing it away in, in, in favor of fame that's going to cost him business deals, cost him millions in the long run. People don't want to be associated with a woman beater. People don't want to be associated with somebody who's involved in domestic violence disputes every time people open their eyes. People don't want to be involved in that. Blueface is picking the wrong kind of fame. Same thing with Takashi 6 9 Instead of constantly putting out good music, Takashi decides to get caught up in gang shit and thug shit and fucks up his career trying to be the tough guy. Blueface is doing the exact same thing with his Krishan Rock shit. You're in the perfect position. Just rap. Just rap. Just do that. Just rap and call it a day. Just rap. But instead, he wants to have this fame and success. And the unfortunate truth is that none of that reality TV show money is ever going to compare to rap money. Rap money is 90... Bro, the amount of money you can make from a successful tour, merchandise, all of the other... Bro, the amount of money you can make from that in comparison to this reality TV show bullshit, it's not even close to being the same. I'm sorry. Krishan Rock, the more famous she gets and she just makes an OnlyFans, she's set. Blueface? Not so much. Unless he becomes her OnlyFans manager, I mean, how long will that last, right? The unfortunate truth is that Blueface is destroying a blessing. He's been blessed, and he's destroying it. He's absolutely destroying his blessing. I can't believe I'm, I like, every time I see what's going on between the two of them, I don't really care so much for Krishan Rock. I'm more focused on Blueface because he's a star here. There's no Krishan without Blueface. And, and like Wax said, everything that Blueface is doing to embolden Krishan Rock and strengthen her career is solely but surely weakening and destroying Blueface's career. You get into these fights with her, sure, she's becoming a star. In the shade room circles and all of that, she's becoming a star. You? You're eating away at your career. There's a reason why you don't see Lil Wayne doing this, Drake doing this. Kanye. We're not going to go into Kanye. There's a reason why some of the greatest rappers in the game, the biggest rappers in the game, don't get involved in these kind of disputes publicly. Everyone's life is a shit show. Everyone has something going on in their lives that's embarrassing for the public to see. But for the most part, people keep it private. Blueface wants to make it public for everyone to see. And this is why he's struggling right now. And this is why he's going to continue to struggle. The only solution for Blueface is to listen to WAC 100 because WAC ain't gonna lead Blueface astray. And the reason why WAC ain't gonna lead Blueface astray is because Blueface is a cash cow. Blueface will earn WAC as we've already seen. Blueface lost WAC two to three million, so we know he can get WAC two to three million. But then again, can he? He's not interested in making music anymore. So the, mu the, the, the millions ain't gonna come from that. He can't do the boxing anymore because he's out here getting into fights with women in real life. What's going on? It's unfortunate, but this is this is another blessing gone down the drain. I feel for Wack. I don't really feel bad for Blueface or Krishan Rock. I feel for Wack. Made a business investment, put time and energy and effort into this kid, and this kid is ungrateful for everything. Completely ungrateful, is not listening, is destroying everything. It's sad to see. I've got little to no sympathy for this situation. It's fucked up, but it is what it is. Sad to see. Hopefully somebody can break these two up and get them up and get them to, 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 to get Blueface. Get Blueface to see the light and continue his career and make himself great so that he can have a long lasting career, make millions of dollars, set himself up and marry somebody who's actually good for him. Hopefully. It is what it is. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.